to my channel guys thanks for coming back I really appreciate it and for all you first timers out there what's up I'm Kylie welcome to my channel uh, today we're going to be doing this look that I'm wearing right now this is my go-to everyday look I do wear it multiple times a week I wear it to work a lot because I'm a server and so it's really fast and it's easy for me to do and still look put together so I'm going to teach you how to do this look with literally two eyeshadows on the eye and it's very simple. I feel like everybody can do this. So I know I said that with my Cinco de Mayo look and that might not be as simple as I thought it was, but this is, this is really easy. I'm telling you, it's so, so simple. Everyone can do it. All right, so keep watching to figure out how I did this. It should be quick, maybe not. But yeah. Also, I am very sorry I didn't put up a video last week. I know you guys were just sitting on the edge of your seats, like wondering when I'm gonna put up a video, and you're all like, Kylie's not just gonna post on Friday if she didn't post it. I know you're really upset, and I'm very sorry. So, I'll try to be better, and I'll try to post every Friday. Just sometimes life happens, you know? And I still have a full-time job on top of this. Like, I'm in the middle of working 10 shifts in a row, which I've worked this job for over two years and have never, ever done that. So, I'm pretty desperate for some money. <sighs> My life sucks. Just kidding, not really, because I get to be here filming and doing this, which is fun. So, apology. Sorry for no video last week. Getting one up this week. Woo! Getting one up next week? Hopefully, you never know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, just, I just got so weird. All right, we are getting up close and personal today. So first, I'm gonna start off with the Josie Marin Pure Argan Oil. I'm gonna put that on my face, so here it is. Whoopsie. All right, and I just rub it in. So I put two drops on my forehead, two drops on each cheek. And sometimes I'll do um, drops down my neck if it's feeling super dry. All right, so for me this acts as a primer and also as a moisturizer since I don't really like to prime my face too much. I use my primers for special occasions because I'm poor. I don't have a lot of them. Next, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. Just like this. Put on my forehead. Da, da, down. All right. Next, my sponge. Blending it out. Also, I've already done my eyebrows. I'm pretty sure you guys noticed that. And then I'm just going to go over top of the stick foundation with just the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is the shade Y225 and the stick was Y245. Right over top. Give me a little bit of extra coverage. So we're going to go in and prime the eyes using my Holy Grail eyeshadow primer by e.l.f. Cosmetics. One swipe across each lid will do you good. And I just blend it out with my fingers. All right, eyes are primed. Now we're going in with the eye look. This is my all-time favorite eye look. I do it at least once a week, if not more. It's my basic, my go-to. I use it as a base for other eye looks. Like, I just, Revolve my world around this and it's really simple. You only need two shadows and you can get them almost every single palette that there is. And I will show you that and prove it to you in just one second. So let's get started. Okay, so my for my eye look, I just use two shades. And in this case, I'm gonna be using just, it's a lighter like tan shade right here. Use this shade and I'm gonna use this this brown one. <laughs> this is really hard to do backwards. I guess I could do it like this. This brown shade and this tan shade. There we go. That's better. This one, this one. That's it. That's all we're going to use. So 
This is the Morphe 350 palette, so it has those shades. You can also use, this is MAC uh, Shade Stir slash Light Sweep Sculpt and Shape Powder from MAC. You can use this light shape with this dark shade. You can also use any contour palettes. These ones are going to be a little bit different because these are so much lighter, but you can also you can do it. It's just not going to look the exact same. This is the Anastasia Contour Kit, and same with the Kat Von D Shade and Light. This one would work a little bit better than the Anastasia. My palettes are disgusting. Oh my gosh. They're just covered in powder. It's not really anything too gross. Let's get started on this look. All right, so we're going in with this one right here. I'm just using a Morphe E22 blending brush and I'm going to put this shade all over my lid. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with a Sigma E25 Blending brush, it's like this. It already has the brown on it because I use it so much I don't wash it between every single time. And then I'm going to go in with the brown shade right here. Take that shade and I'm going to start by putting it on the outer corner. And this is going to be messy and it doesn't matter at all. So I'm putting it on the outer corner and then I'm going to drag it into the crease. And I'm going to drag it a little farther. And then go back with the blending brush. And you can see it's like messy here, but we're not cleaning that up with concealer later. So then I'm gonna take that brown shade again and just go back in and kind of darken it. And again, back with that blending brush, the original, which is the tan. That's about it, honestly. So really what we're doing is more just, we're like contouring the eyes, I guess you could say. Because we're going in that crease and we're just kind of shaping them up. Not neatly, of course. You can use any brushes for this. I just prefer prefer fluffy brushes because this look is so not neat. You don't need super defined brushes. If that makes sense. So like big fat ones are fine. Cause you're just blending it out, it's gonna be super smoked out. Do what I have going on in here. Oh, he's bored. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles Concealer. Mimi, Mimi. And this is the shade Fair. Fair clear. So we're gonna use this one. And I just draw myself to look like a raccoon. Down my nose. I draw a W on my forehead because women. Just kidding. These bombs are driving my nose. Go away, nobody likes you. With this part right here with the concealer, you can either carve it out and give yourself kind of the wing like this, you see what I'm talking about, or you can just, what I'm going to do, and just kind of blur it out. 
like that. So I don't really want the sharp wing. And so I kind of ruined that. So I will take the blending brush with the tan color in it and just blend it out. Alright, so now that that is done, we're going to finish the eyes and we're going to go in with a flat definer brush by Sigma. It's an E15. And we're going to go back in with that Morphe palette. And we're going to go back in with this brown shade right here to get under the eye. Now at this point you could go in and you can do a wing liner. That's what I do when I'm going out and I'm feeling feisty. But for work, I don't really go in with a wing liner. For Randy's graduation I did this look and then I did a um, maroon wing using different liquid lipsticks. I can actually do that look for you guys in time. I was thinking about it actually, so maybe I'll do that later. Um, so some other things you can do with this look that I like to do is I'll add a few different shades just to add some dimension. So I like to add this orange one right here. Before I do the brown, I'll do the tan and then I'll add orange. And then I'll do the brown or I'll add some red or even like this green color right here. I just like to add different shades just to mix it up and kind of add a little bit more and make it a little bit more fancy and give it a little bit more depth. But when I'm in a hurry or if I just don't feel like doing my makeup really, I do this and it is amazing and I love it. And people always ask, how long did it take you to do makeup? I'm like, five minutes. Okay, never, it never takes me five minutes, let's get real. But it's my quickest one. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal Vol Voluminous, Voluminous, Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara from the truck. So a lot of people don't curl their lashes when they're going to put on falsies, but I always do because if I don't, my lashes literally are like straight out and you can see them. So I have to curl them up. Alright, so next I'm going to be going in with the MAC uh, Sculpt and Shape Powder. This is the shade, this is Shade Stir, no, this is Light Sleep and this one's Shade Stir. I just swirl it all around, I feel like it blends well together. And I'm just going to go in. See, it just blends nicely. It's very smooth. This brush is from Morphe, and I guess it's just too old or something because it's just falling apart. Alright, so this is a light contour. You can also use a bronzer. You can do a very heavy contour. I'll do that. Um, when I go out, I'll really contour my face, like wing liner, bake it out, like just really go for it, you know? Oh my goodness, these hairs are just falling out everywhere on this brush. It's going down my nose. I like to do my nose, not necessarily to contour it because I'm not really worried about that. I do it because I feel like I'm very white and I'm very fair and so if I bronze the whole outside of my face or contour, and then I don't do the middle of my face, it looks very white and really bad. So that's why I do my nose, just to even it all out. So next I'm going to highlight and I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetic in the shade, the shade King Tut. And I'm gonna be using a Morphe M501 brush. This is like completely shattered. I took it on vacation and I guess it just didn't make it through very well. I don't know if you can see. I can't really test it more, but it's very upsetting because this is not cheap. So I don't even use it that much anymore because I'm too afraid to open it. Alright. So 
very gold. The shade I feel like would look good on all skin tones. I'm going to be going in with lashes. I'm so ghetto. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. So I reuse my lashes over and over and over again because I'm poor and so I don't have a lot of money to spend on lashes. And I just don't see the point of using them once and throwing them away. I really like the Duo Brush On Adhesive Glue. Oh, with vitamins. I didn't even know that was just an added benefit. So this is like the brush on glue instead of the like squeeze bottle. And I like it a lot and it makes things way easier. So it just looks like this, like this, there we go. And I just brush it on the lash, brush along and make sure it's nice and coated. All right, so I just place it on there. Now I get really irritated when I'm doing my lashes, like to the point where I cry. It's okay though. And then these are just Revlon tweezers for me. We're gonna use the shade Whirl by MAC. All right, now I'm going with Androgynate by J. Star. One of my all-time favorite colors, one of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks. Uh-oh, I messed up. This is my finished look. Go in with the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Mmm, yum. Oh. Currently I'm ready for graduation. Oh, the Olympics. <laughs> Friends reference, if you didn't get it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like this look and you think that you can tackle it because I think that you can. And if you like me and you want to see more videos with me or more videos like this, go ahead and go down below and hit that subscribe button because that would be awesome. Just like you. You guys are awesome. Thanks again, you guys. I really appreciate all you do for me and stay tuned for next week's video. Hopefully. All right. Peace out. Let's go, girls. Gonna let it all hang out. Wanna make some noise. Really raise the voice. Yeah, I wanna scream and shout. for me to be done here. What do you think? <laughs> Guys, look at Jacqueline Hill. This is so dope. It was really cool. She posted this. Alright, I'm done filming.